Hey guys, how's it going? So Coinbase is getting pumped by CNBC. Uh, they came out and made a video about Coinbase. Is now the time to buy Coinbase? Uh, time to invest into Coinbase? I don't know what Coinbase. Like I don't know like what exactly is going to happen, but uh, this guy right, right here. Oh wait, was, I think it was him. And I think this guy is from Market Rebellion. But this guy right here is talk. Wait, is it either this guy or this guy? I can't remember who was talking about it. But it was he's basically saying that you know. It's a trade right now, but it could be a long-term investment uh, because he believes that in the next, you know, six months-ish, uh, uh, over a trillion dollars gain in market cap for digital assets. And, uh, you know, and he thinks that Wall Street is going to come in and pump up Coinbase. So we'll see what happens, but pretty exciting. Uh, personally, you know, right now Coinbase is, is up five percent. <coughs> Coinbase is actually very highly dilutive. Is it highly dilutive? Well, it's not too bad. It's only uh, two hundred and is it really only two hundred and sixty-one million shares? That's not too bad, actually. Two hundred and sixty-two uh, million shares. It currently has a market cap of sixty eight point one two two billion dollars. Um, you no, know, it's already expensive, but it could go higher. It could be a hundred billion. It could be two hundred billion. Who knows what Wall Street would push it? But Wall Street has a lot of money, and they can push it, push the push stocks in the tens of billions of dollars because that's how much money they have. They have basically unlimited amount of money. If you also include in uh, leverage money, that uh, coin that Wall Street loves to do, like borrow money. So in theory, Coinbase could be uh, get pumped to the moon. We'll see what happens. Um, I have a zero position in Coinbase, but uh, this is a little. I do have my bet on. Crypto is in Voyager. So I think if Coinbase keeps going up, I think there'll be FOMO in other crypto uh, companies like Voyager. And I think Voyager could get pumped up to plus dollars if Coinbase keeps going higher and higher and higher. Because I think Voyager is a much better bet than Coinbase. Why? Because Voyager is, you know, still has a lot more room to grow. Then Coinbase, Coinbase is already around the world. They're already in Europe. They're already in Canada. The Voyager is only in the United States. They haven't even expanded to Canada yet. They haven't expanded to the United States. I mean, they haven't really expanded to uh, Europe yet, and they still got New York too. So, you know, lots of potential for Voyager to grow into a massive company versus Coinbase, which is already basically a massive company and is already growing. I mean, it's just, I mean, not growing, but it's it's still growing, but it's already a massive company. I think Coinbase, if you want to buy Coinbase, you are, you know, it's more of a safe bet. Because Coinbase, you can't lose too much money because, well, I mean, you can lose money, but it's, it's a safe company. They have a good EPS. They have a good PE ratio. They make billions of dollars, you know. And they have a one year price target of $377. Could still potentially double your money. But you can also still potentially double your money on Voyager. My bet is with Voyager then rather than Coinbase. Coinbase could be could you know Coinbase can keep going up and Voyager can just sit here or keep going down. I don't know at the end of the day. But that's my bet. My bet is on Voyager, not Coinbase. I could put a little bit in Coinbase just for fun. Oh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Anyways, that's it for the video. I don't really have too much to say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Bye.